Ooh, it's raining today. Hey, it's a good thing. I just got my new rain barrels installed. See how they're doing. Oh yeah. They'll be filled in no time. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this one's already full. Well, now because this is the first one I installed, I actually installed this one uh, a couple days prior, and uh, it was already three quarters of the way filled. Um, so, you know, I expected it would be the first to fill, and I have not had a chance yet to get the hardware. <laughs> for uh, putting in the overflow and faucet connections. So uh, that's what I'm going to do next. I think uh, it'll probably be a little bit more of a pain in the butt putting it in with the water in there. I might have to take these apart and empty them first, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, here's the other one. I've actually got four. And uh, not quite. Probably about a quarter of the way filled, I'd say. So, got some room. But we're expecting rain all day, so <laughs> I imagine these will fill up quick. Uh, probably have to pick up a few more. It's looking like. But uh, it's doing the job. I've already used the, the first one to uh, water my strawberry plants and uh, water all the new bushes and stuff. So awesome. I'll check back later with the new hardware. Hey, folks. Uh, the rain finally broke, and uh, I was able to go ahead and plumb these fittings in and give you a little idea of what I got going here okay so right here we got the overflow I put valves on everything uh, just in case right here's a a hose valve where you know we can either empty the tank or use it to water the flower beds over here now this hose here goes down and it's on a bit of a grade over here so that's the reason the overflow over there is up so high um, and we got it coming in up here on this top overflow as well and uh, here we have another spigot and around back we have yet another spigot and hose coming out. And this one here leads to the one that I showed you earlier that was overflowing. And uh, once again, we have a spigot for a hose. On this one, we have two. We have an incoming and an outgoing. One from the uh, from the one I just showed you, and the other one goes to my other rain barrel on the other side of the house. And uh, just so you know, I don't plan on leaving these hoses out, but I wanted to make sure everything was working before I go bury this hose yeah it runs along and here we go another one now this one I actually ran out of fittings so <laughs> I had to cut that hose and just I used a nipple here which just uh, these all screw right into the plastic you take a a drill, it's real simple. 
you get the right size for the uh, for the threads that you want and uh, they screw right in and it's watertight I mean you could use some tape or uh, TFT uh, putty on the threads uh, for now it was actually raining when the, when I did this so okay so I got it hooked up right now and uh, this right here is the outlet this here is the feed from the other barrels okay and I got it running over here to my garden which uh, needs a bit of tending right now but as you can see with the valves open here it is we got water running free not even a pressurized motor attached all run by gravity and uh, it's doing the job quite nicely I get out here and uh, <laughs> pull these weeds but other than that things are going pretty well take it easy oh and while I'm here I'll show you look what I got <laughs> topsy-turvy <laughs> funny I didn't think like the tomatoes I know a lot of people had problems with those but uh here we go we got strawberries coming and uh, actually I've already picked several of them the ripe ones and ate them sorry I didn't show you that but uh <laughs> that's the breaks check this out we got another one over here all right beautiful coming along quite nice oh, look we got a couple ripe ones actually Eh, yeah, semi-ripe. They'll be probably be ready by tomorrow. And this was actually not too bad. I, I bought the plants um, and stuck them in there. Got them at Bordines again. Uh, they were about six bucks for six of them, so can't go wrong there. All right. I'll be back. See you again next time.